Mrs Butlin and I work for Cornwall Music Service Trust and over the next seven weeks I'm going to be bringing you some music lessons. And I'm so excited and we're going to have lots and lots of fun so I hope you'll enjoy working with me. This is my daughter Rosie, Hello. she's seven and she's going to be helping me today. So are you ready? A big thumbs up if you are. We're going to start with a welcome song and we're going to sing this song at the start of every lesson that we do. Very easy to learn but first of all we need to learn the moves that go with it. So, you need to stand up. Are you ready? Because the first thing you're going to do is to jump. Fantastic, have a good jump. Excellent. Now then, the next thing you need to do is to shake. Shake all over, shake your head, shake your arm, shake your shoulders, shake your legs, shake right down through your body. Have a good old shake. Fantastic, well done. Now then, the final action, stamp those feet. You can even wave your arms a bit, a bit like a march as well if you want to. Brilliant. Let's have a jump again. And a shake again. Brilliant. And a smile. Fantastic. And still. Now then, let me see your hands open. Okay, you need to do that at the start of the song. We need a thumbs up sign. And we need a punch. Alright, so if you just keep watching us, you'll soon pick up what to do. Very, very easy and you'll need to do those actions. So I hope you enjoy the song. Here we go. Hands open to start with. Is everybody here? Are we ready to start? Yes, we're here and we're ready to start. Is everybody here? Are we ready to start? Yes, we're here and we're ready to start. Are you ready? Yes, are you ready? Now we're going to change to heads. 
fantastic. What about noses? Wonderful. Who can do this? Brilliant. Now, I'm going to sit down on the floor for this one because here is one of my favourite actions because we're going to say a big thank you to your feet now because I bet you've never said thank you to those feet for carrying you around all day. So watch. Can you clap your feet like that? Brilliant. And can you also do this? This is called a sitting down run. Like that. Fantastic. Now, we're going to use those sounds now to think about this. Every piece of music that you sing or you play or you listen to should have a steady beat to it. A beat, a bit like your heart, that is going on in the same steady way, not getting faster, not getting slower all the time. And we need to learn how to be able to play or sing in time to a beat. So some people will be able to do this already, but let's have a practice. So here is a piece of music that's got a very, very steady beat. You watch us, copy our actions, and can you keep in time to our beat? Are you ready? Here we go then. Ready? sit down you've got to watch carefully as long as you're listening out for that beat that'll be fantastic here we go then here we go feet together clap them black box. Can you see? It's quite tall, it's quite thin, so I wonder what could be in it. Hmm, maybe it's my packed lunch. Do you think I've packed my packed lunch in here today? No, it's a bit too narrow to fit my sandwiches and my crisps and my banana and my fruit in, so it's not my packed lunch. Um, maybe there's some marbles in it. No, nope, not noisy enough to put marbles in. Maybe it's a pencil case, but then it wouldn't fit in my school bag. Oh, we better open up the box and have a look. Are you ready? Oh, big surprise. Oh, look, can you see that? Can you see that? This is my flute. Has anyone ever heard of a flute before? Can you say flute? And the flute is a member of the wind family. So in, in music, we have instruments grouped into groups and one of them is a wind family, a woodwind family. And this is the special family my flute belongs to. Now, you can see it's in three pieces. And you know, it's a bit like you really, because it's got a head. Can you pat your head? There's your head. And it's got a body, just like you. There's your body. And, now I bet now you're all saying leg, aren't you? It's not its leg, it's its foot. Point to your foot. So my flute has got a head, a body, and a little foot. Well. Well, do you know, the flute's very clever because we have a very different way of playing our flute. Because look, this is the bit I'm going to blow in a minute. And look, look where the hole is. Now, Rosie's got her recorder to show. You might have seen a recorder before. And with the recorder, with most blowing instruments, we blow down. Can you show us a recorder? Oh, give her a clap. Fantastic on the beautiful pink recorder. Thank you. 
But with our flute look, we can't blow down it because there's no hole to blow down. We have to blow across, I'll show you. Well, you could have a go. Find your finger and find that pokey out bit there. It's a bit like a shelf. It's your chin. Rest your finger on that chin, on that shelf, and blow at me on the screen. Ready? Can you blow across? And that's how you blow a flute, you know. And you know, Rosie's got something else to show you because if you go home tonight, you could find a bottle, a bit like this. You have to take the lid off. She's decorated it beautifully, look. And look what you do. So she, you could have a go at that at home, couldn't you? If you find the bottle, check with mum and dad, make sure they help you with it. You could have a go at blowing across a bottle. And that's how we make the sound on the flute. Let me show you some funny sounds it will make. Here we go then. <gasps> well, but if I put it together, it'll be able to play some much nicer sounds. Because look, when I put it together, let's put the foot onto the body. When I put it together, you will see. Ooh, doesn't want to go on. Let's try again. There we go. You will see. Look at all these keys, these metal bits. These are called keys. And underneath it, you can't see very well. So when I come and see you in person, when I'm allowed to come into your school and see you, I'll show you so you can see it a bit better. But underneath here are holes. And every time I put down my fingers on the keys, it covers the holes and I can play some different notes. All right. But first of all, look how tall it is. It's quite big, isn't it? Can you stand up, Rosie? Now, remember, Rosie's seven and she's tall for seven. But it comes up to there on Rosie, look. And I bet some of you, if you're a bit smaller than Rosie, it won't be much shorter than you are. So when I come and see you, we'll measure you up against the flute and see how big it is compared to you. Right, I think it's time I showed you now. So my flute can play from low. Low. And notes in the middle. So I will play every single note I know. And Rosie will count them. If you count them with Rosie, then you'll find out how many notes I can play on my flute. You ready? Here we go. This is my lowest note. That's the lowest note. Here we go from the bottom to the top. Should we count them again? Because I've gone from low. Oh, look at that very high note. Now let's this time go from very high note down to the my lowest note. Let's see if we get the same number. All right, you ready to count them? Here we go from the highest note. choose some of those notes to play a tune for you that you will know. Now when you start hearing it you'll think oh we all know that tune that's why I've chosen it because I know you'll all know it and if you would like to sing along with me as I play that would be brilliant. Okay you're gonna sing with me? Here we go then. Did you recognise it? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And I'll bring my flute along again. You can see it again. And we'll have some more learning with the flute another time. Excellent. Now then, I want to show you a fun song. Now you'll know the tune of this song. I'm sure you will. But I've changed the words a bit because we've got two special cats, haven't we? And this song is about one of them. Now, we can't get him to come in tonight. But maybe next time we do our filming, he'll be able to come in and see you because this song is all about our cat called Kitto. And he's a grey fluffy cat, isn't he? And he's quite mischievous. He does all sorts of things with his naughty paw. I'll tell you some stories. This is naughty paw, he likes to flick things. He does all sorts of funny things. So I'll tell you some stories about Kitto another time. 
but we need to learn his song, okay? So I'll teach you, it's ever so easy, you probably already know it, and then next time we'll do some fun things with it, all right? So this is the song about Kitto, it goes like this. Mrs. Butlin had a cat and Kitto was his name, oh, K-I-T-T-O, 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 and Kitto was his name, oh. Easy, isn't it? So it's Mrs. Butlin, and Rosie too, but we say Mrs. Butlin had a cat and Kitto was his name -o. And then we spell out the letters in his name. We say K-I-T-T-O. Should we try it again? I'm sure you can have a little practice of this, can't you, this week when, when I'm not here or I'm not with you. And then perhaps next time when we come to sing it, we'll all be more confident. Should we sing it again? Mrs. Butlin had a cat and Kitto was his name -o. K I T T O K I T T O K I T T O and Kitto was his name -o. Mrs. Butlin had a cat and Kitto was his name -o. K I T T O K I T T O K I T T O and Kitto was his name -o. Fantastic. So next week we'll do some fun things with it and maybe we can get Kitto to appear on the screen. You never know. Anyway, time for us to finish now. But this is how we're going to finish. And we'll finish in the same way every music lesson. So can you show me your hands? Let me see, then wiggle those fingers. Has everybody got eight fingers and two thumbs? Yeah, wiggle them, brilliant. So open them, shut them, open them, shut them, put them on your lap, lap. Shut them, open them, shut them, open them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them up like this. Falling, 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 wave goodbye like this. Give yourself a big clap and another pat on the back and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.